Do you use a ZWO cool camera such as the ASI 2600MC Pro? Well, if so, you may want to stick around and watch this video because today we are disassembling this camera in accordance with the instructions that ZWO sent us because we thought we had the dreaded oil leak and it turns out they say it's just water. So stick around and see the results. I'm Papa Wilfredo and you're watching Star Walking. This is the teardown video of the ASI 2600MC Pro. So, issue that we thought was an oil leak, but ZWO says that it's uh, water. So, they sent these handy dandy directions here. We're going to follow along, we're going to disassemble it, then we're going to clean it. So, you just basically take the, I'll give you a close up shot. But there is some, on the inside sensor, there is some, what they say is water. This is the Allen wrench that came with it. So we first have to take off the top plate by loosening the top three screws. And we're just going to follow along the old style. You just unscrew the top. But since this is the new one, flip over to the exact over to the exact we're just going to follow along with the exact directions here so I sorry for the um, the doggies there they're playing with their new their new toys so I emailed ZWO to see if I could send it back for the oil leak and when they sent me this back they said it was simply not, um, it was not an uh, oil leak, it was condensation or watermark. And they um, sent me the directions to do this myself. So I promised myself I would do this one step at a time and mark it accordingly, just to put it back in the same direction it came off and I'd already forgot to do that so we're going to put this on there you don't have to do this but I'm going to do it just to try to get it back in the same spot that'll work I just uh, basically put some alignment marks don't have to do that, but I figured I would. All right, we take off the uh, front piece, and then we got to take off the remaining six screws here. You have to bear with me. It's going to be a slow process. I think the most challenging piece of this is going to be putting in the, uh, the desiccates. Taking the desiccates out and put them in the microwave and heating them up. It just sounds like it's um, not supposed to happen, but that's what we have to do. And they say once you get this off, they want to get it back together as fast as you can. Um, once you get this the desiccates heated up and put back in place. So again, we don't have to worry about aligning this piece because there's a step in here that you have to align those three prongs with the two prongs that are here. So it can only go on one way. So I'm not worried about the way that goes. And as you can see here, there is 
something on the lens right there. So what we're going to do, is going to take this kit that I ordered. It doesn't have exactly the same thing that they had, but it's close. Um, it says you're going to swab this thing. Well, first of all, it says we're going to blow it off with this duster here to get any of the dust that's sitting there off of it. Then we're going to use this cleaning solution. And it says to put a dab or two, but I don't have a way to dab, I just have a sprayer. So what I'm going to do is dab some on my cotton swab here. It's the best, it's the best that I got right now. I'm going to put a little bit right there where that thing is, and it says keep it. In a side to side motion here. So it looks like it came right off. Doesn't look like there's any issues. We're just going to keep doing this here. I don't know that it's off. Looks like it is. Um, let's see here. We'll let that dry for a minute. We'll do the same to the inside of the glass that said do the same thing to the inside of the glass. I'm just blowing that off camera away from where I already cleaned. It doesn't look like there's anything on this particular one. But we're going to pop out these desiccates. Sorry, y'all, my puppies are trying to jump up on me. No, it's not food, sweetie. <clears throat> Sorry. All right. We're going to go ahead and clean that glass the same way. Same way we clean the other one. Just want to make sure that it's clean. and lint free. I know this, this is really bad to use a Q-tip because it could leave those little those little streaky things behind. But I've, I've cleaned my filters with this stuff before and I haven't had a problem so I'm not worried about doing this. Alright, that looks good and clean to me. Let that air dry. Of course, it did streak it up a little bit. So I'm going to use this cloth. Came with this microfiber cloth here. And I'm going to use it on the lens just to make sure that it is streak free here. Don't want anything in here for sure. That's looking pretty good. Just got to make sure this is nice and clean. Streak free. And y'all can hear my puppies whining. They won't want me to pick them up. Not right now, sweetie. I'm trying to use the light right now to make sure I got the streaks out of there. I don't want there to be any streaks. That looks pretty good. I think I'm happy with that. I may clean it with some alcohol just to be sure. Because I can see some I can see some streaks on that one for sure. I don't like the way this little kit here, I don't recommend this kit. It's their cleaning solution, I don't like. I 
I'm using alcohol now. I don't think that's going to hurt it. Looks like it did a much better job. Carefully do this. Don't put a lot of pressure on the sensor, that's for sure. You don't want to do circles because you could scratch the lens. Just barely applying pressure here to make sure that the streaks are gone. I'm really happy with that. That looks really good. One little small spot right here. Turned out to be a little more difficult than I thought to get those little streaks out of there. So a microfiber towel really isn't doing the doing it justice. Make sure the corners are good. There's just one little spot there. Just don't, I don't like it. That's good though. All right, I'm okay with that. We're just gonna let this sit like this for now. I gotta take these and put them in the, it says put these in the microwave. Right here. All right, we're gonna redry the desiccates. It says you gotta pop these in the microwave oven, medium power, heat for two minutes. I'm going to step away, put these in for medium power, and then it says put them back when they're still warm and immediately seal this back together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back when it's done, and um, I'll put this back together and make sure this is extra clean, and we'll be good to go. Just got to make sure this is all nice and clear. I like that. And we'll just double check this. And I'll be back. Got the desiccates back. Feel nice and hot. I'm gonna make sure that the dust is off of here. Be very careful to touch these things. Gotta put them back in when they're still warm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They're warm, all right. Now the most important thing is, is don't touch the glass. Align those, those uh, two poles up there, along with those two poles there. Again, make sure there's no dust. Gently set it back down. And you need to get this thing sealed up nice and quick. and not over tighten it. You don't want the air to get back in there and dry out those desiccates. So 
far, this has been a pretty easy task. It's just a little, that um, camera kit that I got, I don't recommend that kit. It comes, they've, uh, I'll, I'll post the, um, these instructions, I'll post them inside the video and on my Google Drive as well. There's a link to it, I think, that they gave me. Um, and it'll, uh, that way you can, you can order their, their camera kit. Because this one is not, I don't recommend it at all. Now these were fairly snug and I got them evenly torqued down. There's no torque spec on it, but you just don't want to over tighten it. But I want to make sure that each one of them is, is nice and tight because there is a little ring in there. And I don't want that ring to not be compressed and allow the air back in. But we're not quite sure why that happened in the first place. All right. That's nice and tight. That sensor looks pretty good and clean. I mean, it looks really clean. It's hard to tell if I did a great, great job. I gotta get the outside here. Um, I'm happy with it. And then uh, we'll go put it on the, we'll go put it out there on the telescope and take a look. They did recommend uh, redoing calibration frames uh, because of taking it apart and stuff. So, but they say that this is a uh, a way to refurbish back your camera, and we're gonna find out because uh, I'll show you on the. There's a picture that I took. It shows this spot on the image and the image looks the the spot made the image look horrible it's just a nasty nasty spot um, so this I hope I'm pretty sure it's gonna fix it because that was the blemish on there but I'm hoping that I got it uh, clean enough to where it's not uh, gonna cause any issues and we'll find out on the first image that I take but uh, if you do have any dust in there you will have to redo your calibration frames all right and I think that concludes that concludes fixing that mark that was on the that blemish that was on the inside on the sensor it was not an oil leak. They claim it was water. So hopefully that fixed it.